Lightsaber Samurai. Lightsaber Samurai. Don't say I ain't never do nothing for you, bro. Where are you? That's your hero, bro. If you've been following me, you guys know I went to Portland Retro last year. The 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 link up with, with Metal Jesus. Uh and um I found him. I got him to give my boy Lightsaber Samurai a shout out, said what's happening to John Riggs. But I also asked Metal Jesus to give a special message to all of my followers. So here it is. Talk to him, Metal. Hey you, dumbass. <laughs> I gave you guys, I gave you guys already, Ridge Racer Unbounded. I also gave you guys in that same video, Eternal Sonata, Space Marine, Warhammer. That's three games that are awesome hidden gems and that will go up in value. Yeah. All right, so bam, there you have it. Three hidden gems from Metal Jesus. I'm going to do you one better. And I'm going to give you 10 hidden gems. I was going to do 10 more shovelwares. I'm going to do that. I'm going to push that back. But since Metal Jesus put out that uh, 360 digital um, collection video, which three of those videos was actually physical releases that, uh, you know, people are starting to look at now. I want to put out another hidden gems video so the showcase of hidden gems that people don't think about. And I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time for these hidden gems come to the forefront as well. So shout out to Metal Jesus for, you know, giving the community those three um, bangers that I actually that actually went up in value since he said that. So I'm going to try to help you guys out as well and give you 10 more that you might want to look at. So let's roll the credits and let's get this thing popping. All right, so the first game we're gonna go over is Enchanted Arms. Years ago, golems with almighty powers were created. Hey, Atsuma, come on, wake up. Ha <laughs> bring on the next opponent. Only his power can save us all. Even with that arm, you're still only human. Everything. Stop this! Remember who you are! I'm gonna finish this! A mere human seeks to stop me? Buried in his past lies the key to our future. Atsuma! You know, Price Chart. <laughs> Price Chart gave you the 69. <laughs> uh $20. Also on price chart, but eBay got it for twenty five dollars, twenty five, and that's with free shipping. Some people are starting to rise up; they want it for forty dollars. Most people, most people got it at the twenty five dollar price range. I see a couple of people trying to get thirty five, trying to get forty for this game. This is a forty fifty dollar game. See, some people they overprice their games on eBay. Because they know eventually the market is going to catch up to it. Uh, shout out to Legally Insane Gamer. That's why I started laughing when I looked at the Metascore 69. He gives a lot of good eBay selling advice. For anybody who thinking about hopping into the reselling market. You know, dude said sometimes he overprices games because he know that the market is going to catch up to it. Sometimes you undervalue. So, so everything is about balance. You gotta balance. You gotta balance it out. You gotta know how to move. You gotta know which way the market is trending. And this game, the market is trending up. Is this this game is literally one uh, mystic metal Jesus uh, recommendation. One any mega YouTuber recommendation array from being a seventy dollar game where everybody just buy it and you can't get it no more. A lot of people just don't know about this game. And channel on, and it's a good game. It's a very got a very interesting premise, as you can see from the trailer. Very interesting game, man. I keep telling y'all, Enchanted Arms and Eternal Sonata 
which is another game. I think Metal Jesus, he, he gave that a uh, recommendation. So, it turned to Sonata finna go. So, don't two games, man. I've I been told y'all that. I've been told y'all that turn to Sonata was going to be a $100 game. Been told y'all. It ain't there yet, but it's going to be a $100 game. So, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Next one is NBA Jam. Okay, let's roll the trailer for this. bus driver and I'm taking you to school. And this guy ate his cup and dunk for breakfast. Wow! And now, time for my favorite game, NBA Jam Elimination. Domination. 21. Backboard smash. Tonight's boss battle. Flash. Magic. Dr. J. The Mailman. King J. Black Mamba. CP3. Dynasty. Larry Legend, Diesel. Okay, cool. Y'all already know I'm giving NBA Jam five cools out of five stools. Man, it's NBA Jam, man. And it's in HD, and it looks glorious. And it's, uh, man, just one of the best games ever created. Price charting for $22. What uh, eBay got it? eBay got it right now. People want $32 for this. Most people want it. I see some people got it for twenty five dollars. That's after the shipping, you know. That's with shipping included. So most of them, they keeping it around twenty five to thirty dollars for NBA Jam. I think that's probably about the best you're gonna get it for, uh, and I think it's gonna be worth it because it's a good game. It's a good game, and the only reason why I'm calling it a hidden gem on the Xbox three hundred and sixty is because most people don't even know that it's there. Most people don't even know that NBA Jam is there, so definitely go pick that up. Add that to your collection. You'll be happy you did. Let's go to the next game. Now, this this not a hidden gem, but it's something that might, you know, might get lost up in the in the rat race with all the other games that everybody is trying to get for the Xbox 360. So I'm just going to uh, throw it in on this video. Tekken Tag Tournament, man. You might want to grab this game here, man. Now, really go up in value. I highly doubt it because it was one of the main staples on the Xbox 360. Kind of like a Call of Duty game. But one thing I will say about Tekken Tag Team Tournament, you want to get it, you want to try to find it sooner rather than later so you can guarantee yourself a good copy, a clean copy. That's that's very important. Plus, I, I can also see I can also see Tekken doubling the price. I can see this game easily being $30. Just because it's so popular and it's it's one of those games that everybody going to want to have with their Xbox 360. It's kind of like a Mario game. But, you know, it's coming like a Call of Duty, but it's more valuable than a Call of Duty, if that makes any sense. So I had to throw that on this list. So, I mean, if right now, um, <clears throat> I think a good copy of a Tekken Tag Tournament. I think all the Tekken games on the Xbox 360, if you don't got them, should be on your radar. So let's go to the next game. All right, for the next game, we got Dirt 3. Let's roll the trailer for this.
I haven't played it how I want to play it. I gotta, I gotta hook it up to a, a racing reel and see what I can get out of it from from that that standpoint. But um, I played it a little bit. I li- I like what I played. Liked it enough to see it as a hidden gem. A lot of too many people don't know about this game. A lot of people don't really like to buy rally games when it comes to racing. People like more of the simulation games, like the Forza games, stuff like that. But I think the, the Dirt series is a pretty good series, man. I, I like all of them. Dirt 5, Dirt 3. I only got a couple of them. I got Dirt 1, Dirt 3, and Dirt 5. But the three I do got, I love them. Uh, and like I said, man, right now, this thing is looking like 30 to $35 on eBay. And Price Chart got it for $13. So I don't know what's going on with that. But eBay is... Uh, yeah, eBay kind of pushing it. So this might be a game to keep your eye out for some reason. For some reason, I don't know why. Racing games are selling like crazy expensive on the Xbox 360. So, I mean, um, Dirt 3 being one of the better ones, that might be something to keep an eye out for. Just like Need for Speed Unbounded. Look, Meta Jesus called that out. That was one of the more different type of racing games and if you in my personal opinion need for speed unbounded is one of the better ones as well so that's why that's kind of going up in price and dirt three is right though it's right there so that might be something for you guys to keep your eye out on let's go for the next one now the next one we got is an awesome hidden gem man <laughs> one one of the better games on the xbox 360 that i don't hear i don't hear too many people talk about metal gear rising revengeance All right, let's roll the trailer for that. Now, this game was also on the PS3, but since everybody going Google Gaga over the Xbox 360, we're going to talk about it for the 360. I see this game right now is is trending at $20. Everybody want $20 for this game. This is a high action, fast paced, totally different spin on the Metal Gear franchise. This game and it's another game called Metal Gear Survive. That came out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox uh, One. I don't. I don't think Metal Gear Survive came out on uh, the 360 and all that stuff there. So, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. But I don't even think it came out on the PlayStation. Did it come out on the PlayStation One? My bad. Not not the PlayStation One. I meant the Xbox One. And yeah, I think it did. I just I don't have it on my case. I don't have it in my game room because. I don't have it complete for the Xbox One. I got a loose copy. I probably ordered it off of, uh, I probably ordered it off of GameStop.com and they sent me a damn loose copy. So I got a complete Metal Gear Survive for my Xbox One. Damn, I need a case for that. All right, cool. So it came out on PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. But we're not talking about Metal Gear Survive. We're talking about Metal Gear Rising Vengeance, man. We Vengeance. So, man, pick this game up, man. If you could find it for a good price, uh, eBay, they want twenty five dollars for. It. Once people start finding out how good some of these games is, that's when they start coming with these doodle prices. So, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revenge is definitely a good game. It's not the typical Metal Gear Solid experience though. So, if you're going in and looking for that, then they probably won't appeal to you. It's kind of like Meta Nay or uh, <laughs> Meta Nay. It's kind of like Metal Gear had a baby with Bayonetta. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's something like that, though. So, uh, I give it five cools out of five. Well, I give it, I, I, I give it five. I give a thing five cools. I like that game. That's a game I could pick up and play any day of the week. So, yeah, I, I like Metal Gear Rising Revenge. So, let's go to the next one. All right, so here we got Crash, Mind Over Mutant. Metal Gear said it was Metal Score. <laughs> Metal Score said it was trash on the sticks and gave it a 20. I don't know, man. I, I I didn't play this game. 
I'm only I'm including it on this list because it's a crash game. And we all know crash to be associated with Sony. Uh, price chart got it for $39. eBay, oh my goodness. I think I think this thing done took off already. Nope, nope, nope. Only only one person. Okay. One person is trying to sell this thing pre-owned for $80 in Canada. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, most people got it for $45. So it's $40. But damn, that's still kind of expensive. It, it, it done took off. Crash Mind Over Mutant is a $40 game. That's crazy, bro. And some people want 50 for it. I, I want to see a couple of $40. Uh, uh, yeah, hey, that's Crash Mind Over Mutant. So, you know, um, and the trailer, I couldn't get too much from the trailer because the trailer was the, the, the trailer I seen on YouTube was trash. So, y'all getting what I'm getting, and uh, so make your own judgment on <laughs> on Crash Mind Over Mutant. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got Star Wars Force Unleashed. <laughs> You were weak when I found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. At last, the dark side is your ally. You are one of Vader's spies. I bring Darth Vader's enemies to justice. Vader thinks he's turned you. But I can sense your future. And Vader won't always be your master. The Sith always betray one another. You're still loyal to Vader. After he branded me a traitor. There is much conflict in you. Your feelings for your new allies are growing stronger. Do not forget that you still serve me. Definitely five cools out of five stools, even though I didn't play as much as I wanted to play. So, uh, but what I did play, I was I was blown away by my experience I had with this game on the Xbox 360. Uh, I definitely recommend it. You know, I, I, I never really played too many bad Star Wars games. So maybe I'm just biased. Maybe I just, I, I like all the Star Wars games. I don't really like the movies, but I like the games. And this one right here, man, still cheap. You can get the platinum according to uh, according to price chart. You can get the platinum and the regular one for eight dollars. And hell, according to eBay, you can get it for eight dollars. And you can't beat that with a stick, man. You can't beat that with a stick, man. Eight dollars for a good game on Xbox right now, and they charging crackhead prices. For damn near everything on, on, on Xbox 360, I definitely recommend you guys pick that up. It's a common game. You should be able to walk into your local game store and they should have a copy of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. You might not get the Ultimate Sith Edition. <laughs> and you might want that one more than you want the regular one. But hey, hell, man, hey, Star Wars Force Unleashed, man. So that's what I got on that. Uh, let's go to the next one. And this brings us to our last game of the day. Sonic the Hedgehog Platinum Hits. Now, I, I, I got to find a regular version of this. Now, I really don't need it. You know, I got the Platinum Hits version. So this is the so, so-called so good version. If if there's even a such thing as a good version of this game, because this game just is 
pretty pretty damn near horrible. But if you ever wanted to know, you know, what it'd be like to watch Sonic hook up with a chick, <laughs> you know, this your game. It don't get no more anime than that. That that's more Japanese than the the Gal Gun video. You know, uh, this this game here got some bestiality in it, so it, it bypassed all that little other little pervert stuff that you know they be doing on the Japanese titles. But yeah, man, this game is it, legendary for its jankiness. The you know. Uh, Got down frame frame rates, uh, just being broken, and all other type of fly stuff. So if you want it for the chance to play it, you want to get the platinum hits version that got at least some of the you know updates that go to this game. But if you just get the OG version and you know the Xbox store go down and you can't do get no more updates and you can't do do nothing else with it, it's gonna be bad even after the updates. But it's gonna be damn near unplayable. If you just if you play it straight from the OG disc, it's gonna be damn near unplayable. Not too many games came out broken on the Xbox 360. You know, some of them was made better with updates and stuff like that over time. But for the most part, every game that came out in this seventh generation was pretty much good to go, regardless of whether you had internet or not, because these games was made for systems that didn't have the internet in mind like that. Internet was still fairly new when the Xbox 360 and the PS3 came out. And only people who really had money was getting that DSL crowd. You know, DSL used to be a luxury back in the days. Everybody didn't always have high-speed internet. Some of us were still on that um, AOL dial-up when you hit a, the goddamn on telephone ringing when you try to get your ass on online so you could look at some naked pictures. So, and we all didn't have DSL. And that shit came on. Everybody started getting high-speed internet as a norm in like 2011, 2012. You know, these games were down there seven, eight years into into their existence. Even then, even in 2012, I was still in my next door neighbor internet. I ain't had no damn internet. I ain't had no internet personally myself to down there 2015. 2012, we were using Boost. I was using Boost hotspots for a lot of the times I played Call of Duty online. The Boost hotspot was pretty damn good with the 3G, so I don't know what the hell they doing with this 4G shit. Now, I remember playing online Call of Duty with 3G hotspot and I was kicking ass with 3G Hotspot. And I was downloading games and downloading updates. And I was doing a lot of shit with 3G Hotspot. So they keep going up the G's on, on this internet and all this stuff. There. So, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, but that's I digress. I'm, I'm all over the place now. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've been doing this video too long. Let me cut it off right there. <laughs> When I start talking goofy shit like that, let me cut it off right there. Because now my brain just running all over the place. And I done lost track of what I was trying to do. Because this is what happens when you just bust your ass trying to enjoy your own life. And then you're also trying to, you know, uh, make sure that you're nurturing the YouTube career that you're trying to start. So if you made it this far, man, hit the like button, hit the sub button, man. And I appreciate everything you guys are doing. Lending me your time to entertain you. Hopefully, I gave you something educational. And um, I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be cool on your stool.